Please? At first there was nothingness, then some unknown process led to a great big explosion. The universe grew from a subatomic stew of quarks, gluons, plasmas, and bosons. Then gas and dust settled on hot cores of metal, and one of these cores was called Earth. It was covered with goop, a primordial soup from which all of Earth's life was then birthed. At first single cell, some swam or grew shells, still others evolved to hunt prey. Some hid in the sand, some crowd onto land. So life, well, life found a way. We already did this bit, uh-huh, in the pilot. Hmm? There were bosses and gymnosperms, seven foot longer from huge dragonflies ruled the sky. Amphibians, cephalopods, peddlers, both by and quad reptiles started to fly. We had lizards both big and small, mammals not big at all, sharks with the size of a house. Then one little meteor killed other dinosaurs, so we evolved from a mouse. 8,000 BC, creation theory would dictate the song should start here. Though most of our herd agree it's absurd, some teach it in place of Shakespeare. Skip evolution, there are two revolutions. Agriculture took us to towns. Humans learned to grow wheat, got all fat, love to eat. Stop walking and just settle down. An industrial next, its major effect, to take us from town to the city. We mined coals and built trains, machine plowed our grains, and we treated the workers real shit. How many more of your Earth seconds is this going to take? Well-timed interruption, almost there, I promise. We recorded some tunes, put a man on the moon from our wars, and we care to recount. Sent the Phoenix to Mars, built electric cars, and polluted a shocking amount. Skipping can now we survive, not sure how. It's getting real hard to keep track. <gasps> There's Wikipedia, smartphones, tablets, on drones, pick your own genomes, ride-sharing sheep clones, earthquakes and cyclones, valleys of silicone, gluten-free bacon scones, temperature milestones, keystones and sword thrones, high-end earth pagan loans, cycles, testosterone, everything must go. But at least now, us waters are...